whale shark. The largest extant fish is a whale shark, a massive but harmless member of the shark family Rhynchodontida. Although they can be found in marine habitats all over the world, whale sharks prefer tropical oceans. They belong to the order Erectolobiforms, a family that includes the carpet sharks and are the sole species of the genus Rhynchodon. They travel great distances in search of plankton to feed on in order to maintain their enormous size and to breed. All of the world's tropical waters have whale sharks. These gentle giants are distinctive due to their white spots and snore colors and divers enjoy viewing them at the location where they congregate off the shore. Welcome to the Animal Chanel, the one channel for all the interesting animal facts around the globe. Ready to dive and let's go. Due to their enormous size, they may be able to make long migrations to areas with plenty of food even though they may not be able to find enough to eat along the way. A remarkable effort for a fish, some individuals are thought to travel across entire oceans to arrive exactly in time for a plankton bloom, a mass spawning of fish, or coral legs. Whale sharks give birth to hundreds of tiny about 20 inches 45 cm newborns, as opposed to the small number of very huge babies that other giant sharks give birth to. Even more intriguing, the female whale shark makes hard, hardened egg casings following internal fertilization and then safely carries them inside her abdomen until they hatch, at which point she delivers live birth. Though it is feasible that in some situations, the female deposits her eggs to hatch on their own. The energy used to build the needless egg casings might be better used to generate more young. Whale sharks are especially distinctive since every one of them appears to have a different pattern of white dots that cover their bodies. In reality, to identify specific whale sharks from images of their spot patterns, whale shark researchers use sophisticated computer software that was initially created for star mapping. With the aid of this technology, Researchers will be able to determine, for instance, whether a person who was photographed by tourists in Mexico was also captured on camera by fishermen in Belize. The whale shark has been fished relatively severely over the past few decades, like many other huge, slow-moving sharks, and individuals are frequently unintentionally trapped in fishing gear that targets other species. Some regions of the world consume whale shark meat, and the fins are very valuable. Whale sharks are currently thought to be in danger of going extinct by scientists. Fortunately, a sizable tourism sector has grown up around seeing whale sharks in the wild, and their worth when alive exceeds that of fishers. The majority of location throughout the world grant whale sharks entire legal protection due to this and the fact that they are such beautiful animals. Unfortunately, there are still certain sites where illegal fishing takes place. All around the world, whale sharks can be found in warm waters. They can be found in the Western Atlantic Ocean, which includes the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea, from the coast of New York in the United States to central Brazil, from the shores of Senegal, Mauritania, and Cape Verde to the Gulf of Guinea. They can be found in the Eastern Atlantic. The Western and Central Pacific Ocean, as well as the Indian Ocean, are home to whale sharks. They have been spotted near Pakistan, India, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Thailand, China, Japan, the Philippines, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, Australia, New Caledonia, and Hawaii, as well as in the Red Sea and off the coast of South Africa. From Southern California in the United States to Northern Chile, they can be found in the Eastern Pacific. It is said that the whale shark can grow to a maximum length of nearly 18 meters. The majority of specimens that have been analyzed, however, averaged a weight of 15 tons and a length of 12 meters. The body's coloring is recognizable. On a dark background, light vertical and horizontal stripes create a checkerboard pattern, while light dots identify the fins and dark regions of the body. The head is big and flat, with a large mouth and a somewhat truncated snout. Along either side of the body to the tail are several noticeable ridges of firm tissue, sometimes known as keels. Just above the pectoral fins, there are five sizable gill slits on either side of the head region. A distinctive filter employed in eating is formed by special spongy tissue located inside the gill slits and supported by the shark's gill arches. From each nostril hangs a bobble, a short, simple sensory organ. The shark's back dorsal and anal fins are smaller than its front dorsal fin. The mega mouth shark, basking shark, and whale shark are the three largest filter feeding sharks. The whale shark hunts for prey at or near the ocean's surface. 
with more than 300 rows of tiny, sharp teeth in each jaw. Its huge mouth is ideally equipped to filter eating. These teeth are not used for feeding, according to ichthyologists, who view them as vestigial structures. Seawater enters the shark's mouth cavity as it swims and filters via the gill slits. Internal gill slits mesh like tissue functions as a sieve, capturing plankton and other tiny organisms while letting water pass through and return to the sea. The shark will occasionally seal its lips in order to devour the caught prey. The whale shark will occasionally feed with its tail down and its mouth open, facing up toward the surface. As it bobs up and down, food and water can enter its mouth. Both phytoplankton, such as algae and other marine plant matter, as well as zooplankton, or small animals like coke pods, shrimp, and other invertebrates, make up the prey that is caught. The whale shark also consumes a variety of other fish and mollusks, including small tuna and albacore, as well as sardines, anchovies, mackerels, and squid. There have been reports of exceptionally huge whale sharks since the 1800s, some of which are listed below. The Seychelles was where the Irish naturalist Edward Perceval Wright collected many miniature whale shark specimens in 1868. Wright was made aware of one whale shark whose length exceeded 45 feet. Wright claimed to have seen specimens over 50 feet and was informed that some reached heights of up to 70 feet. Hugh M. Smith wrote in 1919 about a large animal that was caught in a bamboo fish trap in Thailand. No measurements were collected since the shark was too hefty to be pulled onto the shore. It was at least 10 wa, which is the time measurement for the distance between a person's outstretched arms, according to independent sources that Smith found. According to the local fishermen, one wa measured almost 37 tons and might be regarded as either 2 meters or the average height of 1.7 to 1.8 meters, according to Smith. Later sources claimed that the whale shark was about 18 meters long and weighed 43 tons. However, the veracity of the claim has been contested. In the Southern Pacific Ocean in 1934, a ship by the name of Mount Gonwe came across a whale shark and rammed it. As a result, the shark became stuck on the ship's brow, allegedly measuring 15 feet on one side and 40 feet on the other, implying a total length of around 55 feet. In a report from 1994 to 1996, Scott A. Eckert and Brent S. Stewart discussed the satellite tracking of whale sharks. Two of the tracked individuals, two women measured 15 and 18 meters, respectively, out of the 15 individuals. In 1995, a 20.75 meters long whale shark was reported to have become stranded off the coast of Ratnajiri. In 2001, a female with a standard length of 15 meters and an estimated total length of 18.8 meters was discovered in the Arabian Sea. This female was deemed to be the most trustworthy and precisely measured in a 2015 study that examined the size of marine megafauna. A sizable whale shark was discovered floating 150 kilometers off the Pakistani city of Karachi on February 7, 2012. The specimen was described as being between 11 and 12 meters long and weighing about 15,000 kilograms. The whale shark does not endanger people despite its size. Whale sharks are confish that occasionally let swimmers ride on their backs. Though shark biologists and conservationists discourage this activity since it disturbs the sharks, whale sharks that are younger can play with divers and are kind. Underwater photographers like Fiona Ayerst have captured them swimming near people without posing a threat. The whale shark is well liked in the few public aquariums where it is kept, but due to its enormous size, it needs a very big tank and has specific nutritional needs. The species' great size and iconic reputation have also inspired opposition to captivity, particularly in light of the early deaths of some whale sharks and the species' confinement to relatively small tanks in some Chinese aquariums. A whale shark was held for nearly four months in a natural bay in Izu, Japan, in 1934, marking the first attempt to keep whale sharks in captivity. The Okinawa Churomi Aquarium in Japan, formerly known as the Okinawa Ocean Expo Aquarium, made the first effort to keep whale sharks in an aquarium in 1980. Since 1980, many have been maintained on Okinawa, the most coming from unintentional catches in fishers' sick coastal nets. However, two were strandings after 2009. Many of these were already frail due to the catch or stranding, 
and some were released, but the survival rates of the initial captive population were dismal. Growing in rarity, it is our duty to protect and understand the largest fish of the earth. How many more will survive to see another generation or two float and bask like a shark whale and watch these beasts survive the test of time? Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment below. Turn on the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos.